All right. Uh, we are making a quick video, quick video on how to refill MCS shocks with nitrogen. This will apply to other brands that uh, also use nitrogen. Colin, can you come take a look here? In terms of the parts that you need, you're gonna need a, um, a high pressure tank. Um, I went to Robert's Oxygen, 20 cubic feet, uh, 125 bucks. And uh, the, uh, the refill uh, deposit is 27 bucks uh, on that. I will also post a separate uh, link to, without the MCS tool, you need to buy this regulator that attaches to the tank. And then you also need to get a, uh, either the MCS tool, or there will be aftermarket tools uh, to validate the pressure in the canister before you disconnect it. Um, and now in terms of what you do, it's actually relatively straightforward. It helps if you have another set of hands. There's a, a little nipple cover here. You gotta take off, uh, off the, off the canister, uh, before you connect it. This is an 18 millimeter, um, that you're gonna need to loosen it up. And before, most importantly, before you attach it, you need to go counterclockwise to tighten this. What you're gonna do that way, you're gonna lock this up. You're gonna do the same thing, go, go counterclockwise here to lock it up. Once you attach it, you're gonna lose a little bit of pressure as you're attaching it, but it's gonna be tight on. Once it's attached here, then you will release this. I should set clockwise. This is contrary to what you have been uh, told, ready, uh, tidy, lefty, loosey. It's the opposite of that. Once you release this, this will pressurize and you will be able to see how much pressure you now have in the canister. Because you are also filling the MCS canister itself, you will lose a little bit of pressure in here and you're gonna have to um, fill it up. I go to 175 PSI, so I overfill it slightly to about 180 and then lock this up before I disconnect the tool. Uh, one other thing here to note in terms of uh, filling this up, you are obviously gonna have to open the main valve and then you have you will have this little regulator here and it's uh, you have to make very fine movements to um, to open this in order to increase the pressure. It helps if you have somebody else watching the pressure here on this MCS tool. Uh, like I said, I wanna be at 75, so I overfill slightly to about 180. Once you're at 180, lock this up counterclockwise that will retain the pressure in the MCS canister that you just filled. Close this main valve, and then you can, you can then disconnect it. As you are disconnecting this 18 millimeter, you're gonna lose a little bit of pressure, but again, we've already accounted for that by overfilling it uh, slightly. Don't forget to close it up when you're done. And be very careful when putting this back on, because if this falls down, you're probably not gonna, not gonna find it. And that's all. If you have any questions, post it below.